looking for an editor and will soon be posting a new reporter position. Oh. For NPR News, I'm Alex there, was, there you go. The fabulous on the outside, but still a Walmart on the inside Walmart. Moving south. Support for NPR comes Working from NPR west. stations and from Angie's List. Providing first-hand consumer reading. It's weird how there's all this vacant land <laughs> in the middle of Palm Springs. <laughs> and now doctors. Details oh, these are by the Indians are by the airport com. in this part of town. Or From both. Robin and Murray Sinclair. Yeah, that's still crazy. Sustain NPR's coverage Directly in front of us economy. is the um, new headquarters James, building for the Agua Caliente Indian tribe. Advice, and they own banking, about half the real estate, dirt real estate in Palm Springs. Every other James. square mile. This is NPR. And they've National done a pretty Public good, I, I would, a very good job of managing their assets. They really have. They do lots of good stuff here in Palm Springs, and I can't, KCRW, can't Santa Monica. give them those kudos about that. <laughs> the joke is, the rich people in Palm Springs are the doctors, the lawyers, and the Indian chiefs. And in Palm Springs, they really are Indian chiefs. <laughs> We're now on um, Dinosaur Drive, which is kind of an alternate east-west arterial in the Central Valley that I... I don't always remember, but it's a good, a good alternate to the mine and um, just to chill. Going due west, it's San Jacinto's, it's 5 o'clock, so that explains the sun, angle of the sun. I have the windows up and the air conditioning on because it was toasty today. I was somewhere in the low 90s. Into the and they were <laughs> which they what we had to so far this year. And it to be Not so toasty, but what we'll have later on in the summer. At the intersection with Gene Autry Drive, instead of going south on Gene Autry, I'm going to continue uh, west on Dyer Shore, because that makes more sense this time of day. He says he's never seen when somebody pulls in front of you. And there's a shortage of ammunition in the U.S. that's fueled in part by a... Dinah Shore becomes um, a ski drive up here after the stop sign. And we'll be going past um, Demuth Park on the left. Demuth Park is a huge, huge, huge public park in the city of Palm Springs. Not just park, but sports fields, tennis courts, pools. That's coming up first news. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear. A strong aftershock struck central Italy this evening, a day and a half after the country's worst earthquake in three decades caused severe damage in the Abruzzi region. The death toll now stands at 228. NPR Sylvia Petroli reports in the regional capital, L'Aquila. This evening's tremor was felt as far away as Rome, 60 miles west of here. It sent rescuers and residents fleeing already damaged buildings. Rescue efforts continue today with anxious relatives of the missing hoping their loved ones would be found alive. Four students trapped inside a partially collapsed dormitory were located Tuesday afternoon. But hope faded that they would be extracted alive after firefighters brought in huge specialty equipment to tear off balconies, walls, and the roof to get inside. University Rector Ferdinando Di Iorio said that unless there is a miracle, they probably are dead. Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi visited the devastated region by helicopter and said rescue efforts would continue for two more days. Until it's certain, he said, that there is no one else alive. Silvio Poldroli, NPR News, Laquila. President Obama made an unannounced visit to Iraq today where he received a rousing of troops. troops. Mr. Obama, right at Camp Castle. Victory, where he spoke to around 600 troops, declared that this is time for Iraqis to, quote, take responsibility for their country. The president also praised U.S. military personnel for their performance. The Obama administration has already said it plans to withdraw most U.S. combat forces from the country by August of 2010. As many as 50,000 are expected to remain in an advisory capacity. The president also met with Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki. The president left Baghdad after a visit that lasted just over four hours and is now heading back to Washington. Three members of a U.S. congressional delegation met with former Cuban leader Fidel Castro today. This was his first known encounter with U.S. officials since he fell ill in 2006. More from NPR's Michelle Kellerman. California Congresswoman Barbara Lee says she and her colleagues from the Congressional Black Caucus were invited to Fidel Castro's modest home 
and though he's been in poor health, she found him to be as talkative as ever. Trail drive for all of us to turn the camera on. Very interesting. Discussed a wide range of issues, as did uh, President Raul Castro. The delegation had Ahead a long dinner the, with Raul Castro Bell, during Bell the Air Golf as well, course. and Congresswoman Lee that. says they came away convinced it's time for the U.S. to open a diplomatic dialogue with Havana. The Obama 